You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, we will configure Juniper SRX Identity Based Firewall. Prerequisite is the integration of SRX with Active Directory, which is discussed in the previous section. What Juniper SRX in the background actually does is to match the IP address of the user and not the username itself, because the username does not exist in the traffic itself and the IP address of the user is retrieved from Active Directory event log. In this section, we will learn how to control traffic based on username in Juniper SOX device. But before that, make sure that you have studied previous section, which shows how to integrate Juniper SOX with Active Directory in order to retrieve user information and updated IP address of the user. To configure a user firewall, we configure security policies as we have learned in the previous sections. The only difference is that as a match condition, we have the new option source identity which point to the user active in active directory. But what firewall is actually doing behind the scenes is matching the IP address of the traffic and not the username. This is because the username does not exist in the traffic itself. But first, it refers to the authentication table, which include the IP address of active users. It retrieves the current IP address of the user. Then it match incoming traffic with the IP address retrieved from the authentication table. Before starting identity-based firewall configuration, just to review the result of what we have configured in the previous section, let's monitor Juniper SRX authentication table with the command show services, user identification, authentication table, authentication source, active directory, we can retrieve the current active users in the active directory and their corresponding IP address from authentication table. As you can see, there are currently two active users, Majid and Administrator, and their IP address is also displayed in the output of this command. To configure a sample user base or identity based firewall, I want to deny ping from outside to the inside for all users except the user Majid. This is the policy that I have previously prepared. I have three policies from outside to the inside zone. In the first policy, with the name of permit ICMP Majid, only the user Majid with source identity Majid is to send ICMP traffic from outside to the inside. It's permitted. In the second policy, with the name of deny ICMP, ICMP traffic is rejected for all other IP address from outside to the inside zone. And in the third policy with the name of permit all, all other traffic are permitted from outside to the inside. Now I can copy and commit the configuration and then commit. To test the result of the configuration, I ping from two computers in the outside zone to the destination in inside zone. The first computer with the IP address of 188 is not joined with the Active Directory. And in the second computer with the IP address of 99 is joined to the Active Directory. Let's ping from this computer to the destination 10, 118, and from another computer which is joined to the Active Directory and logged in with the username Majid, as you can see here, and ping also from this computer. As you can see, the ping from the computer with username Majid is successful, but the pin from a computer which is not joined to the Active Directory is not successful. At the same time, I enable to monitor the result of log file firewall that we have configured in the section 
8 monitoring and troubleshooting security policy in Juniper SRX with a command monitor a start and firewall we can turn on live monitoring of the log file and with command monitor stop we can turn it off again and then I send ping from this computer this is not joined to the active directory as you can see it is matched with deny ICMP from 188 to 10 118 and from another computer which is joined to the active directory and logged in with Majid user as you can see it is matched with the policy permit ICMP Majid from 199 to 10 118 therefore SRX knows that the IP address of 199 is currently belonging to the user Majid as we have seen in this command